Right, what consumer goods are we like getting the closest to? We need more sausage and more bread and more soap. Did we build a sausage layout here? Yes, we did. And to get more sausage, we need more workers and more farmers. What did I say? Sausage, bread, and soap. I think it was soap. And we have the soap layout here that we can copy across, don't we? Problem with these layouts is like, they're all good, but they're all like massive squares, and most of your islands aren't perfect squares. Did it? Let's put that on blueprint mode, because that's bad if we didn't. Oh wait, get in the uh, right orientation. I believe that was like that. And then that's like that, that is like that. Like that, and then that, that. Excellent. Oh my good, the Pocock is here. Size could be stricter. Uh, so it's 30. How many workers? Bloody 40. Bloody hell, man. There's never enough people, is there? Art doth imitate life and all that shite. Should probably take the dog out for a toilet, actually, in a minute. So I might do a quick walk around, like Anno Man said, and then I might grab a beer, see how much longer we can go. Hope you're all enjoying your jobs, by the way, if you're here for them, which I imagine most of you are. And so, let's be honest, Andy, it's just me and you in chat. Lord and a uh, pog hog and Serema are dropping in every now and then, but for the most part, it's just us two. And that's fine. I, I I respect it. Hey, I did the same thing when I cared about Overwatch 2. I just sat there and uh, got drops on people, like, without watching them. It's fair enough. Right, I'm gonna go get a uh, drink and take the dog for a piss, so I'll be back in a moment. I'll also show dog when I come back, just for you. It's Louie the dog. What the dog doing? It is Louie the dog. What the dog doing here is having a nice sleep. Mm. He's just had a nice wee. Oh, it's got that great dog smell. You gonna be a good boy? You gonna stay with us for a little bit? Uh, oh, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> right, let's see how he gets on. Sometimes he's good and just chills, and sometimes he just cries until you let him down. Oh, so we'll see, uh, see, see which one of those it is. God damn, I tell you, it is chilly out there. Like, our grass just has been frozen for like the last however many days. It just isn't defrosting. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, lads. The big old chill out there. Oh, God, it's happening. Oops, wrong one. Now, do different workers actually work at each of these, or is it just the same? And there's a dog. Do I need to put, like, exclamation dog in the, uh, the stream title now? Oh, it's so good. I 
want to get rid of too many Obreras though, because we will need them. We're just going to need some bricks as well. And try our best. That's fine. Jean La Fortune is not a is not a competitor game. He's a pirate AI. He's literally that's fine. My eye look pink. Oh bro. He's just getting tangled in wise. He's not even chewing him. Although he did chew my Ethernet cable. That was really rough. I've moved off because I'm finally back on wired. I'm so happy. We're just waiting on bricks here, aren't we? It's upsetting. I should probably just send someone from here. Unfortunately, there's uh, not really uh, a lot of options. Unless we need the free aid to do any quests that come up and we're keeping the capital ship there. There you go, Beryl and Willy. They're at war. Speaking of which, we should probably get some more ships on the go just... Yeah, just, just to be ready for war. And again, we don't have any bloody workers to do it. Oh, now this is the classic Anno music. Ship the line is... It's quite a beast. I think Ship the Line might actually be better than like some of the... Cheers, everybody. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock right here. It's, it's on my... Hang on, let me mute. On my Alexa show, which I've mostly used as a clock. Um, It's quarter past five and it's zero degrees. Fuck, it's cold. My poor dog. He's very tired. He's had a hard day of... Being bollocked by me for being a dickhead, to be honest. <laughs> so, we've got, we've got bedside tables in the room, but because, like, we're just borrowing them because, like, we ain't got proper ones, one of them is really low and one of them isn't. And the one that's really low is on my girlfriend's side. And basically, everything that she leaves on there, he bites off and tells, like, just don't leave anything on there and he won't bite off. But, well, she doesn't. It's just one of those domestic things that, you know, doesn't actually mean anything, but fuck, it pisses me off. <laughs> we're all good. Anyway... Um, where was I? Yes. So everything that's on a bedside table, he just eats. So he's eating some cream. Yeah, well, I don't think he's eating it. I think he just like chews on it a bit. Like the cream thing is still like full. It's just got, um, it's just like got loads, loads of chewed marks in it. So he's been eating that. He's been eating the toilet roll. He's been eating tissues. He's been eating everything. So yeah, he's been very naughty today. So don't be fooled by how cute he looks. He's a naughty boy. We could build a public mooring. It doesn't really do anything, does it? Uh, <laughs> if I could find it. There we go, public mooring. You may as well just do it. It doesn't do anything. They'll get rid of one of the quests. A gateway to imagination. All it really do is just get us some more cash from like any guests that turn up. So, you know, it literally cannot hurt. Should probably get some gun sword, maybe. I don't know. Do we need them? I feel like if we go to war, I'll want to build them, but like up until that point, I'm kind of reluctant to because it's a lot of resources to dump on something. God, I know I like checked this like about an hour ago. <laughs> like what consumer goods we need. Sausage, didn't I sort that? No, I tried to sort, no, I didn't. All right, so sausage, basically all the work ones. So sausage, bread, and soap. Soap. I can only hear soap in Captain Price's voice. It's really, really ingrained. Soap, bread, and sausage. I, wish to spread harmony. 
don't want an alliance. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to build a shitload and probably like pause some of this production to stabilize everything. Otherwise, I'm going to fuck myself. That sounds suspiciously like a fire. Ooh, got a quest. Who wants to give us a bear? Basically so that we build a zoo. Which we're not going to do. Uh, we can drop that by about 25%, can't we? I'm not going to build a bloody zoo. I've got more important things to do. Oh, did I do it again? All right, I didn't. All right, we continue in search of the queen. So the queen fled the casino at high speed and your own carriage is some distance behind. Your driver thinks she's headed up the coast, perhaps to a ship. You can either keep up your pursuits or else rush to your own ship, which, if the orders you gave to the captain have been followed, should be waiting in the Monagask... Mon 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 every, say every time I say it wrong. Um, Let's get to the ship, I think. Your ship's indeed waiting in the marina. Quickly, you rouse the captain and his crew and weigh anchor. Before long, twinkling Monagask is behind you. And from the next bay, you spot an impressive ship in the distance. How was she able to leave port so fast? You can either continue to chase her majesty or send her a message of peace with your signal lamp. Let's stay in pursuit. We've got the best chance of that. Your helmsman ship is most impressive. The queen calls over to you as you bring your ship alongside hers. Meet me at the Cape of Trelawney. You point your ship towards Trelawney, the southernmost point of the old world, where not 15 years previously, great naval victory was won over La Carona by the heroic Admiral Nadaski. The lap of victory is there waiting for you and the Queen receives you warmly aboard. You are finally able to ask why it is that she has run away. And here we go. Where's my phone? I can just tell it buzz in my pocket. I am not here Fuck you, Twitter. Oh, right, it's Lionheart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. Our nation has lost its pride. Lionheart's complimenting my IKEA building skills. That is... That's a curious one. Is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney. Yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority. But it sank to the depths, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. How Indeed. Oh, right, she's still going, sorry. I, I apologize. Hey, how much smaller I am than her on screen. It looks really weird. I like such a little midget man, look. Oh, like, oh, man. Oh, like Grey Book of Grudges. Roasted. I need to sort my line out. I look pink as fuck. Alright, so look at this. Fucking island! Let's fucking go! Oh, that was a burp. I really hope that those are getting muted. If not, I'm going to be real upset. Right, so she's, I'm pretty sure she just gifts us, like, the ability to, like, she just gifts us the resources to settle here. You catching all the burps going first? Yeah, the, it's got a big old, it's a mute, and then I've also got a so I can sense myself. You know, if I'm gonna, you know, if I see a bridge and someone kills me on it, shouts PewDiePie. Means a lot to iron. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Trelawney is three. It's great, great hot tip for anyone playing this game. Um, numpad one, two, and three, and etc. I like how you you can quick swap to dif the different regions. It's Extremely useful. It's all thanks to Rada. You alright, buddy? Oh crap, we need 40 more. Oh, 
All right, but you don't look very comfortable. Hang on. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. Some unique and complicated material. Would you like an introduction to their use? Ah, I just broke my finger. There we go. I'll bring my legs up and cross me can sit a bit more comfortably. Mayship designs. Oh, uh, yes, please. Oh, shit. Never mind. My airships aren't simple gas bags. They maintain their shape with their lightweight aluminium frames. We'll need to produce plenty. Yep, that's going to take us a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd quite like to get Hacienda online. Just I know people say, I just like them, okay? They're cool. If Hannah tell, yeah, honestly, if Hannah tells me about Windows, I'm going to need the sensor button because she's getting called a fuck. Cheeks and die. Um, what? Yeah. Hannah with the uh, reminder. She was... She's getting put on the list, let me tell you. The list for what, you might be wondering? Don't worry about it. Something about, it was about Sandy Cheeks. I was just talking about my favorite SpongeBob characters. What is everyone's favorite SpongeBob character? Important question. Because if it ain't Patrick, then uh, I know if we can be friends. Although Squidward was, uh, was on slip. <laughs> He was a real one. When you when you were young, you always thought, "Oh man, Pat Squid was such a such a bore," and then you get old and you're like, "Damn, he had a point." <laughs> but hey, he was living life. You know, he was working at fairly, you know, must have been low ri low wage. Where am I? He was working like a low, low, uh, low wage, minimum, mi minimum, minimum wage job. And he was living like Larry. He had a bicycle thing that he could lay down in. He was sunbathing every weekend. He was loving it. He had a clarinet. He played in a band. Well, looking for us, this ship's got stuck here. Yeah, I'm guessing I just... Uh. The sails. Well, let me drop this off. And then I'll come back for it. Just say the word. Brilliant metropolis rising here from the memory of the victory my father Marcellus. Right, and then this is pretty much it. We just have another island to build. They really just don't stop coming, do they? You see, the difference with this one is it's really, really, really big. Oh, and there we go. We got the next stage of the bloody colonizer trail, or whatever it's called. I can try and speed grow this one since this one is like the most powerful island you will ever get. Oh yeah, we need old Nate. Let me tell you. Ship constructed. Hi, I'll admit your people are willing to fight. Here we go. We got Man of War, the first of many, no doubt. I mean, we have the two million players. We have the seventeen oh one edition. But we've got to go over the regal plane. I mean, that's what we're doing. Ship of the line reporting in. It's a view, isn't it? It's called the Mosquito as well, which, I mean, comedy. Because it sounds small, but it's not. Fart, <laughs> good fucking luck. 14 can food. Good luck. Um, right. I'm just desperately trying to increase my pop here. 
Right, did I increase all the increase all the consumer goods that I needed to? Yes, I thought I did. Or is soap still on fifty percent? That might explain it. And the bloody clothes. Jeez. When hours are this kind, I don't ask questions. <laughs> Sorry. When do we start again? Thought machines had stole me job. There we go. Right, now what we need to do is where are our artisans? So we need about a hundred ish more. So if we get like just a block of workers like these. That should push us over the line. And then we need fur coats, which need cotton from the old world. And furs, which we also can't produce here, but we can produce them on the next island, so we can do that. And I'm probably going to make myself a schooner to do that trade route for me. Where's all my workers just disappeared to? I know we upgrade... Oh, it's because I'm uh, building a goddamn schooner. Um, Hang on. Ah, oh, no, I have no wood. Damn it. It's, it's fine, boys. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Some point in our lives, it will happen. It's okay. Don't panic. All right, where can I... Can I grow... Oh, fuck it. Don't tell me. I can't grow... All right, I can grow corn there. And there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do it here since I'm going to kind of be focusing on other stuff at my other place. Oh god, I was going to say saying so. Do -do -do -do. You should go sit in the ship. Right there we go, and then we need one of those. I can't remember what the ratio is. Right, two cotton farms for every one of these. Can this grow cotton? I don't think it can. That's not the button I meant to press. Nope, it cannot. Ah, well. Oh great, my city's become less attractive because I have cotton plantations everywhere. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's don't take that out of context, please. It's just cotton. Okay, everyone is working here and being paid, and I'm making sure they have a happy life. Look, where's happiness? Look, they're happy. They're happy. Everybody's happy. Show it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm not swaying. Okay, you're swaying. No clips. In, yeah, no one no, no takes clips in this fucking channel, let's be honest. Everyone just save for drops. Which is fair enough, as I said. Sorry, dog, you're asleep in my arm. I kind of need it. A drink. All right, you can, you can rest on the armrest. How are we doing over here? It must be. There we are. We are in contact with Prince Nate. And there we have a diving bell. Let's fucking go. Right, I'm going to send you back home to drop off those items. And this is exactly why you gotta love old Nate. Look at all these items that he can just, like, give you if you bring him enough scrap or money. Now look at that. Happiness, plus 10. Income per house, plus 30%. Speed, damage. He's got it all, baby. Oh god, just another throw up. <laughs> I kind of just want to buy um, some treasure maps, but it doesn't have any of those, clearly. Like 
how are we doing over here? I, stream that. I mean, yeah, the guy bolted me for playing for four hours because I was like, had the game open for like 20 minutes before I started streaming. Right, first, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to need a couple of fur harvesting dudes over here, which I'm pretty sure is just, yep, yeah, regular working people. Farmers, whatever you call them. <laughs> that sounded really out of touch. <laughs> what do you call those people that go to work? Mm. Farmers? Mm, yes. A couple of those, please. Ready to go. Yeah, looks good to me. Can you please stop talking like that? I too hope to spread good and truthful news. Ship under attack. As many furs as possible. Closer to freedom. Literally, this is all that you are going to do. So which ship is under attack? Oh my. You don't look well. Let's use some automated repairing. No. On our way. Right, so we have that all sorted. What is this music? What's in time? I am Vashko Olivaire. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juao of Akaroa. That's Lakaroa to be precise. Call me a pleb. We have come only to pay our respect. Yes, that is a picture of me in the BRB screen in a lizard outfit. It's from when I did the, um, the Oxyothel versus Tark stream with Grudges a couple years ago. God, and we did that in like, the peak of summer as well. It was hot. will give whoever owns it but we can't afford a war with la corona feeble though they may be so i'm afraid we'll have to rely on wits to beat this olive i miss scaler too bro the ending was so disappointing though that was such a fun thing to play through on stream but just the fucking ending was so disappointing i suppose you can't really expect too much from ps2 games This is the journal of my father's strategist, Nadeski. This waterlogged log is in a terrible state. Did you not bring any art to store us with you? No. <laughs> Why would I? You steamy. He may have been on the winning side, but father always says. Admiral Nadeska's carelessness has meant the scepter being lost to the wind. Okay, hey, victory is written by the uh, victory. History is written by the victors, Queenie. So you know that sounds about right. Can we go for me a new ending? Yeah, I will find some visual effects artists that will redo the ending cutscene for us. I went out my nose a little bit, I ain't gonna lie to you, Chief. Oh, please tell me I can copy this between instances, otherwise I'm gonna be depressed. Fuck! How was it? Oh, fuck. It's like that, isn't it? And then... Got that in the middle. If it please an all powerful deity to place me on the throne, it shall certainly please you. So three. The queen wants to build a church. Give me a minute. I 
Also, it doesn't sound very Church of England of you. That's, although, it could be a Church of England, I suppose, so, you know. Got to recreate all my goddamn blueprints here. Well, this has gone wrong somewhere. Or if I just not build it. I just haven't built it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. I'm just stupid. <laughs> 